Today we are using some everyday items as well as brand new items. I am seeing out at Dollar Tree to bring you some incredible hacks, tips, tricks, and DIYs. Some huge secrets to get high-end looks on a budget. Ideas you need to know to get the biggest bang for your buck. Hit the thumbs up button and let's get started. Hands down, this is one of my favorite hacks. If you're gonna try anything from Dollar Tree, this will be the easiest one, I promise. Pick up some of this Elmer's Disappearing Purple Spray Adhesive. I grabbed this at Dollar Tree, take any glass container. I just played around with a lot of different sizes and shapes from the Dollar Tree, and you're gonna spritz on um, a very light coating. Definitely let this dry and then do a second coat. Try not to get it to run or anything, so do light coats, but this gives your glass a gorgeous texture. It's also pretty protecting it from smudges when you're decorating it, but I love the high-end look that this creates and this will be gorgeous for fall. Next up is how to create the fastest DIY lantern ever. So yes, I was so shocked to find these green lantern jars from the Dollar Tree. They are a huge size, a great texture, but most of all, such a beautiful shade of green. I am pairing them with a solar light, but the hack to this is to get the solar light to set on top of this lantern. So I actually discovered if you take a small strand of beads and just glue it around the solar light, it's gonna set perfectly on top. So I found these beads actually from the Dollar Tree and I am gluing them around the top of this lantern and it's going to hold it perfectly at the top so it can get the right amount of sunshine but these look so gorgeous lit up on my patio and I just love the texture and the color of these and feel like they are a great buy to find a Dollar Tree. Let me know in the comments if you have ever seen this faux leather at your Dollar Tree. So I picked this up about a month ago, but I'm still seeing it out at my stores. So many ways that you can use this. I actually uploaded an entire video dedicated to how I use this faux leather. But a really cool hack is to turn this upside down, use any of Dollar Tree's stencils, trace it on there and cut it out. And you can make the perfect charms for any type of like vase if you want to hang this off of a planter. But I also love how I can glue two of these pieces together, cut out the same design, and actually make a pair of earrings that I actually enjoy wearing. But this is so much fun and actually looks so nice using the faux leather that actually looks real. So at first glance, I would have just completely passed these up, but I knew that I could DIY these to make them look really pretty and elegant. So since these are just bright, fun colors, I just grabbed these in any color, it doesn't matter. Um, but a lot of my stores have these in stock for summertime. So I picked up five of them and I wanted to arrange them into like a gorgeous bedroom centerpiece or something that I could put on my dresser. So kind of like a table decor piece, but I wanted these to look so much nicer than these just like bright pink and orange flowers. So I actually was playing around with them and discovered that you can kind of like nestle these together with each other and you can kind of bend the petals if you need to but they fit like perfect if you work with them. I wanted to put them on a piece of wood but I couldn't find anything long enough at the time so I am using one of Dollar Tree's MDF signs but I did want to camouflage that in so I'm just painting it with this London gray color which is more of like a beige and then I'm going to go spray paint the flowers this like gorgeous gold color. Now you can't really tell um, on camera as much, but I did use two different gold colors. So I painted three of them more of like the soft gold and then two of them more of like a yellow gold just to kind of mix it up a little bit. You can tell a little bit, but um, you can tell more in person. But after I got those spray painted, I put them on this little wood piece, glued them down, added some LED candles, and I think this looks gorgeous, especially for like a soft glow in the bedroom. Yarn is usually something that I purchase one time or twice at the Dollar Tree and I have a basket full of it, but I just never get around to using it. So I actually wanted to put it to good use and I discovered if you use any type of little scrap piece of wood, I'm using just a Dollar Tree little square, wrap this with yarn, you can actually create some really fun designs with it. And this makes some gorgeous wall art pieces or actually even like tabletop pieces or anything like that. But if you need some fun texture or if you're really into like boho, or more of like a natural look this is perfect for you all you have to do is dip that yarn wrapped block down in some paint
paint. I actually discovered that like brushing it on worked a lot better, but you can get some gorgeous designs and backgrounds that really pop. And like I mentioned, adding in so much texture, even though this is like a neutral colored print, it looks so gorgeous. I played around with it, did some opposite directions until I got the entire page covered, but this looks so gorgeous, like framed in an actual frame and you can use Dollar Tree's frames, but I didn't even put a backing on it. I let it go in like a floating glass, but I thought this was so gorgeous. There was like some smudges in places, so I just kind of like camouflaged it, adding some more. Once again, using my spray adhesive, I just adhere this to a piece of glass and this looks like it's in a floating frame. It is absolutely so gorgeous and so inexpensive to create um, such a nice high-end looking piece. Another way you can use this same block or play around with it more is to use one of Dollar Tree's little wooden boxes. I already painted this with a dark elephant color chalk paint and then stamping this on and this looks like real birch wood. This will be so much fun to use for fall or Christmas time. I made sure that I did it up and down so it looks so gorgeous and realistic. I love these so much. I even stacked one up but such a gorgeous effect just using yarn. So whenever you think of creating gorgeous home decor, you don't exactly think about grabbing plastic baseballs, but hear me out, this is a really cool idea. You can mix Mod Podge with some water. So I'm just guessing by doing mostly Mod Podge and then adding a little bit of water to it, mixing that up. And then Dollar Tree has tons of fabrics that you can choose from. I opted to go with um, fabric that I already had on hand. So this actually came from Walmart and it's Waverly brand but I just decided to go with more of a gray scale. Now Dollar Tree has out tons of gray fabric that you definitely can use, but like I mentioned, I just already had these on hand. So I'm dipping these down in the Mod Podge and then putting it on this little ball in different directions, a couple of different layers, making sure that they are like small enough that they are going to wrap really nicely and not be too big of a piece, but you can let these completely dry and they make gorgeous like decor pieces for like a vase filler or a bowl filler. I love these and you could make them so many different colors especially for different seasons. And you can definitely use the same technique on different things. So I love grabbing one of Dollar Tree's ceramic bowls, cutting bigger strips, gluing them down the exact same way, and it creates this fun planter. I just think it's cute. It's kind of whimsical fun, but it's also like matches my decor perfect. I love adding words and letters to all of my signs and decor, so if you need an inexpensive way to add some words to your projects, you can pick up these Mod Podge brand silicone molds. These have all of the letters. I fill them in with some hot glue. You can actually wait till these cool down, pop them out, and they are perfect to spray paint or paint with any type of chalk paint or acrylic paint, and you can spell out different words, add them to projects, but this is such a fun idea, so you're going to pay like the 12 bucks up front, but these are going to last for years to come and I'll be able to make so many DIYs using them. Just because you don't have a cutting machine, you can still pick up some of this vinyl paper from Dollar Tree. I love pairing it with some of their stencils. So like before, I'm tracing this same leaf as I did on the faux leather, but just turn this over, trace it out. You can cut this out and you can make gorgeous pieces without owning a cutting machine. Um, but this, this vinyl does work with a Cricut on a mat. Um, if you want to grab some, I think it is decent quality. I would rather have my Cricut quality, but when it comes down to just cutting it out with scissors, it really doesn't matter. This works perfect. I've put it on jars and planters and decorated several things on there, and it seems to hold really nicely. I'm putting it on this white planter, but I feel like it gives it such a nice look. It looks more like a boho look, um, and then just put a faux plant down inside, but I think this turned out really cute and a fun way that you you can dress it up without just leaving it plain white.
for more of a fun like teenage project or I made this for my preteen daughter, I am cutting out little strips of vinyl using a ruler as a guide. So I just kind of made it the same size as the ruler. Then using a piece of wax paper, I am putting several different colors down at one time, overlapping them a tiny bit. Then you can cut out any type of fun shape or letter. I put it on just a Dollar Tree glass sign and it's really fun to play around with it and kind of get the same effect of like some high-end vinyls that you can purchase just using the Dollar Tree vinyl. So this is one of my favorite hacks. I've shared it many times on my channel, but it's just too good to forget about. If you want that same fake acrylic water look like all the high-end stores have, you can achieve that on a budget just using Mod Podge and any type of glass container. I just like to spin it around until it kind of curls up on the edges, let this dry. Now I actually have to let this dry overnight to completely dry, but I do add in several coats so it really shows up. I think the little bubbles on there are even an extra effect which is really fun but um, if you can see this showing up on camera it gives that perfect little dried crystal clear line and I love adding in any types of floral I added in some sunflowers for fall but this is so much fun you also can achieve this look with some clear Elmer's glue as well as throwing in some fake rocks but a really fun hack it just costs like a dollar to do If you need a fun way to hang up a planter, this is genius. I saw this on TikTok, but I actually picked up one of Dollar Tree's uh, paper towel holders. They had used like a nicer paper towel holder, but I knew the Dollar Tree one would work just as well. So I'm taking a planter using a drill and just trying to get out a hole that is big enough for that paper towel holder to fit through there. And it is going to hold up this planter so I can fill it full of greenery. So I did stuff it full of styrofoam so that my gr greenery would hold down nice and tight. I did secure it in place with some hot glue, but this looks gorgeous um, hanging up. I wanted to display it outside, but it was super windy this day, so I just hung it on like a little shelf hook that I had, but this looks so gorgeous and such a fun way to hang this up, and it's going to be super sturdy, and you're not having to like hot glue anything together. If your family is just as bad as losing remotes as mine is, maybe this hack will help you. Grab a phone ring, if that's what it's called at the Dollar Tree, with a strap. This is actually for your phone, but I discovered that if you put it on the back of the remote, you can hang this up. So I am pairing it with some of Dollar Tree's pegboard systems, some of the tiny little pegboards. I hung this behind my TV, and I'm actually able to hang up extra cords or, or chargers or anything that that we need at hands reach and it's hidden behind the TV. So actually my TV's hung up on the wall so you can actually swivel it out. So I can pull it out, hang what I need to, push it back. No one is ever going to know it's hanging there. We have like extra remotes so this will be a perfect way to keep it hidden from the kids so whenever they're gone we always have one on hand. This next hack has been a lifesaver, especially for like preteens and kids who are always wanting to hang up posters in their room. If you use painter's tape, you can actually put it on the wall, hot glue any poster or wall decor piece like lightweight to it with hot glue. It's not going to cause any damage. You're able to hang up whatever you want and then peel it away. This works so well and such a genius idea and I'll use this like a million times over. I love this wide ribbon from the Dollar Tree and it's actually kind of has like a plasticky feel and I was worried about that at first but I actually used it to my advantage. So this is gorgeous, this faux like birch wood design. I love it and wrapped around a jar will be perfect for fall and Christmas but I didn't like how the edges stuck up really tall. So I went ahead and glued this down in place and then discovered if you use a lighter, you can actually kind of treat this like a little Easter egg. So imagine like the Easter eggs that you have the little shrink wrap going around the edges. I am just heating up this ribbon and it is like perfectly forming to the jar and creating like a gorgeous wrap on it. This works so well. I'm just getting it warm enough so that it shrivels up just a tiny, tiny bit 
but it looks like this was like made on the jar. I was so amazed using Dollar Tree items to get actually like this nice of a high-end look. I loved this effect so much I had to use it on these LED candles. You can use the Dollar Tree ones, but I have these smaller ones from Walmart that I wanted to put to good use. I love that they have like the flickering flame inside. So I did the same thing. I wrapped these um, around the candle. I'm actually using Mod Podge this time instead of hot glue because I wanted these to really be attached. But I double stacked this up, cut off the excess, and then using a lighter to singe around the edges. I love rub-on transfers so whenever I saw these little borders I grabbed them and I paired them with a metal planter so I love this black and white style but I have so many of them so I wanted to mix it up and make one that was unique so I actually cut down a few of these little borders and kind of kept them on the same little paper and then all you have to do is take like a little rubbing tool sometimes you can use a popsicle stick anything that you have on hand and transfer it on to anything that you want but I thought this looks so classy and gorgeous on this this planter and really mixes up the style. Did you know that you can actually use a Dollar Tree hat as a planter? So this turned out really, really cute, better than I expected. I just have one of Dollar Tree's sun hats that one of my DIY friends sent me. So I put um, a plant in, this one came from Target, but any plant will do. And I wrapped the little ribbon that was originally on the hat around it super tight. Now this was part of like a challenge DIY thing. So I added in the straws, but you definitely wouldn't have to do that. I think it looks cute, just plain but you could even switch up the ribbon, like trade it out for a more colorful one or for whatever season that you're decorating for. But I feel like this like makes it look so cute, more of like a natural decor piece, especially if it was setting out on a patio. While I was upgrading my patio, these little tote bags by the Juncture brand at Dollar Tree made the perfect addition to my little setting area. All I did was pick them up, cut off the little handles, stuff these with an old pillow stuffing that I already had. I hate buying cotton at the store because it's so expensive. So I just hold on to older pillows. Sometimes I even vacuum seal them up so that I can use them on later projects. Obviously, I'm not saving anything that's gross or that's set outside or risk of mildew but I did fill in um, these little tote bags and you can actually purchase like sealer that you can spray over these to make them waterproof but I just put a little hem or seam on them and then glued this together and these look so gorgeous I put it on my porch swing paired with some other pillows as well as on an outdoor couch now this is covered so it's not getting direct sunlight or rain but these look so cute and they're perfect for this season just costing a dollar 25 to add that extra color and design and make it look really cute outside. And then finishing up this video with another one of my hands down favorite hacks. I did this on so many different projects, but I pick up a a print from the Dollar Tree that has like a clear vase in the artwork and for this particular project I am going to be upgrading the frame because I didn't like the cheap Dollar Tree frame so I'm just gluing it inside of a different sign just to get that thick black frame that looks so much nicer 
but the real hack here is to actually use your hot glue gun to outline and fill in the clear glass base that's on this artwork it makes it look so much nicer if you notice out at like high-end stores or when you purchase a piece of real artwork there is actually texture on it so this makes it look so much nicer i am just outlining the edges and then filling it in the best i can i like to use it on high heat so it really stays as hot as it can to blend in now i haven't had any experience with my paper bending or wrinkling or folding so don't do this on anything that you're worried about but just to risk and have fun with this dollar tree artwork i've had good luck with it every time and then i like to just add a few dots over the petals and the artwork or the little leaves just to kind of make it match and i think this looks gorgeous i feel like it gives it that perfect 3d effect but still like you're able to see the gorgeous paint job that was underneath but i just love this and gives it a really fun effect I had so much fun putting this video together of 25 of my hands down favorite tips and tricks and hacks using Dollar Tree items. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Let me know which hack was your favorite down in the comments down below. Share any hacks that I haven't put in this video um, that you would like me to try and maybe I'll share it in another video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye.